Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the style system using editable templates. So style system allow you or enable your component to add different style for the different UI or the different sites. Using style system, you can add different style to the component and later on, those styles can be used uh, for that component for the different view. It's all about like content author or the template author can add those styles and the, those styles can be reused. Basically, this eliminate uh, the need of creating a new component when the different UI comes up or the updation of component when you have to add a different option for the UI. So the style system can be added at the page level and the component level. And to add these styles or to use this style, obviously your front-end developer already have written those CSS parts. So this is basically a practical uh, topic. So let's understand all these things using a demo. Okay, for demo, I created a page and on page, I added a simplest component called title. So using this component, I'll explain you about the style system. So first, let me explain you how to add style system on a page level. So go to the template. This is my template and uh, page level style system should be added or can be added to the page policy. From here, three dots, open the page policy. So you will be seeing here right side, the second tab styles. Here you can add style for the page level. So let me add some style for the font. So you see, I have added one group. This is basically a group where you can give a title by which name those styles will be available in drop down, drop down, or, or and this will be the name, basically the title. And in back end, once you select this, this class will be added to the outer div. Outer div means whatever your uh, page body, it will add this class to the page body. Obviously, this class should be added in your CSS. Once your CSS is there, this class will be added you know effective on your page okay once you save it now come to page you see this i did not refresh this page you don't you see only these three buttons but when you say refresh it you see a one more icon the brush icon so this brush icon will be available when you add the style to this policy means the page policy now those styles are available if you see this was the title what i gave here let me show you okay this was the title the page font color and these are the three values options so you see font red font green and font blue so once i select this this class whatever the class i added here like font red this class will be added at the body okay let me select this it is selected and click okay so you will be seeing here on this body this class has been added font red because i choose this font red now you should have this class in your css this the css should be written for this right now you can write your css as per your project means whatever the file you are using or whatever means you should have written this CSS. So for my demo purpose, I'm using this page CSS. So let me add all the CSS for this tutorial here. Uh, let me add one file and I will write all the CSS there. Okay, so I added uh, these classes means CSS. Now if I reload this, if you see, this font has become red because I added red. If, if I change now, let me change this to green and I save it. So it should change to green because these styles have been added to the page level. Let me add one more group. So the first group was I added this. You can add any number of the styles. Okay. So for, for the font color, now I added a one more like, like text style. So where I'm saying uh, overline, underline and strike through. So just save it. So now you must see one more group here when I refresh this. Under this style icon, you should see two options, right? One is for the page font color and another one is for the style. So let me uh, choose strike through and I save it. So you can add like one from upper group and one for the text style. So let's save it and let me refresh this. 
So you will see the class has been added like font color for the first font red and for the second one strike to text hyphen strike through whatever the class we added somehow this class is not applied so this is not a front end tutorial you can see this class has been added so that way you can add style to the page level uh, page level so now let's see how you can add style to the component when you click on this component you don't see this brush icon because uh, the styles are not defined for this component once the styles are defined only then you will be able to see the brush icon so let's go to the template and let's go to the title and click on this tiny uh, icon policy icon for this title so if you see nothing is defined here no policy so let me add a policy for this component there's something has been already added so these are if you see right hand side these are specific for this component okay uh, so let me add a policy okay so now let's understand we have some requirement we want to place this align left right and center for that i in in normal cases your developer has to create a drop down means the dialogue and in dialogue they can give option but because of the style system your uh, only the content author can add styles and front end developer can css for that style so there is a no need to update that component it, at all okay so let me add three styles for this okay so i added three option left right and center and the same way this will be the class name so i added this css as well in my file so that when i choose this option this css should be available so now let's save it and you can define the uh, default style as well let's say uh, default i need the default is left or let's say default uh, center save it let me refresh this now let's refresh this and when i click on this now this brush icon is available right Be because i added styles so if you see i did not choose any style but because i gave default style as a center so whenever you load this page so that style will be added so let me refresh this and when i refresh this let's see this component because this is the eight column parse is so this center you you hardly see this is center but the, that was the eight column so let's see this class so see if you see here the title uh, outer div there is a class called center added okay now uh, let's say the right right and click okay so now if I refresh this it should be aligned to right and it has been aligned to right so you hardly see this because this whole thing is eight eight column and there is a very less space so you can see in this uh, just collect uh, you see the right class so that class has been added so that way you can add multiple styles okay so i added few more style what uh, the style was not working at page level so i did the same style here now you should see the two options let's click this and now you must see one more option here okay now underline strike through overline so let's understand uh, let's add strike through and once you refresh this okay this is a strike through is available if I change this uh, let's say overline select uh, there must be a change right it's a overline the line you see here okay let's say i want to select multiple styles so i can add multiple classes from the same group so if i try to select this overline and underline i am not able to select multiple so for that you will see here there is a when you click this there is a checkbox available called styles can be combined so if you check this that means you can combine multiple style of that group so i checked it and save so now let me refresh this okay so if you see i am able to select multiple styles here right and even if i save this if i see the page policy i must see both classes like text overline and text underline so the both uh, this has been added so this is important to understand when you should check it so let's say when you need a specific only one class that in that case you should not choose this for first example i want this to be aligned either left right or center so in that case it does not make any sense to choose this button like click on this because you will be using one at a time so as per your need you can either check or uncheck keep unchecked this 
So you must understand whatever styles you have added. These styles are stored under policy only. So in last tutorial, I explained how to create policy, all about the policies. If you did not check, please go back and check the tutorial. So let's let me show you where these are stored. So let's go to the conf. Refresh. Let me close all these. Okay, and AM Geeks uh, settings template and this was my template okay so as i already explained this note only contain the references of policies actual policy store in this so let me here and the page policy store under page so this is the policy where the page level uh, pol uh, policy or the page level configuration is stored so if you see in this there is an additional node created cq style group so in this you will see the two options two items so we added two groups each item is for one group if i click this you will and expand this you will see three options now these are the three items you see the font i added three options red green and blue if you see this is for the green and this is for the blue and the second one is for the second group okay three items i added in this as well overline underline strike through same way for the title so the title policy is stored under title so if i refresh this policy and this node if you see the two items again two groups i added one for the font uh, means alignment left right you see the align left and the second group was for the style text style uh, this overline underline and strike through so these are stored all the styles are stored under policies i hope you understood the style system if you have any question please do comment thank you